this week, it's the skinny on the fat side. Plus, we're going to pump up the flavor a bit with a cool little gadget. We to get a shot of our secret ingredient. It's time to fire up great TV. From the low country of South Carolina, it's the birthplace of American barbecue, Great TV. Remember, greattv.com is where you find us, and we want you to subscribe to either the iTunes feed, or uh, we've got some email feeds that you can get posts when we update episodes, or friend us, fan us, like us on Facebook. We like that, too. Jack Waybor is here with us. He is the three-time South Carolina State champion, also the founder of Carolina Pitmasters. And I'm Bill West with BarbecueTricks.com. The website, if you want to email us, Bill at GreatTV.com, Jack at GreatTV.com. All right, let's get uh, right into your questions. In, in, and one, my question for you, Jack, is have you cooked any good meat lately? I have, Bill. Uh, we cooked a couple of whole chickens this week using the swim cap method. And we're going to go ahead and do a show on a swim cap method as a... As a uh, uh, topic. Certainly, uh, if you're interested in the swim cap method, get a hold of me at jack at greattv.com. Cool. Swim cap, like swimming cap? Like... As in swimming cap. Mm. It's a whole technique. Having, say this, I always have a hard time this with that. This is name. Yunling. Uh, thanks for Tony Coons for bringing Yunling. the beer today. Yunling. Uh, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Good stuff. Thanks. American. American beer. Like it. Um, our question today from you, the listener, and again, you can always submit questions at Great TV. It's got ask us anything there. Dear Jack and Bill, I read in Stephen Reichland's book to always cook meat fat side up, like when you have a brisket and all that. He says, is that true? I'm saying, is it true or BS? Because Reichland throws a lot of stuff out there. I'm not sure. He, he's pretty well researched, but fat side up, if you're doing a brisket, seems to make sense. What I always hear is that it marinates the meat. Is that, what is the what is the authority? The official authority is BS. Ah. Meat, the science of meat and meat cooking is all about um, moisture coming out of the meat. When you're cooking meat, the meat cooks from the inside out and the moisture is pushing towards the outside. Notice when you're cooking a steak or you're cooking chicken or something like that, the grease is dripping on the fire, right? Mm -hmm. So we're not, we're not accepting anything into the meat. There's nothing going in. The only thing that's happening in the meat is it's pushing out. So if you are using your fat cap, supposedly, as a basting thing, how could it possibly, if the, if the liquid is pushing out of the meat, the interior juices are pushing out of the meat, how can the, the, the fat from the meat be actually going well, in and basting your meat? Now, for, impossible. for appearance, um, like uh, when you're using a smoker, if you're doing a brisket, I think that would probably make sense because if you got it fat side down, well, I don't know, then you got, then you're... Because if you have fat side up, then you're sacrificing the bark on the bottom side, right? The best advice I give you about fat caps is to go ahead and use the fat cap to your advantage and put the fat cap towards the fire. Use it as a protectant against the uh, the flames coming up from the bottom. If you have an offset cooker or you have a direct cooker, make sure you turn your fat cap or your fat towards the fire. That way, it's, it's, you're using it as a shield. The heat is coming up, and you're using it as a shield. The, the heat will come over the top. Your grill will make the heat roll for your cooker, and it will come up over the top, and it will make the bark that you want it to make. Use the fat cap to your advantage, but by all means, don't accept anybody's um, BS. BS that the fat cap will baste your meat. I might, we might be putting possible. words in Reich. I don't know. I haven't researched if that's what Stephen Reichland says. But I have no idea. I've heard that said a lot of times. We do appreciate the email, and thanks for mailing us in and uh, asking the question. It's a great question. All right, coming up, the secret ingredient today... Hmm. Hmm. Wait till you get a shot. Do you, have a, do you have the flask in your pocket somewhere? I do not. Well, we'll get into that in just a second. And let's get this gadget up. What do you think of this one, Bill? Keep what beauty, could huh? this be? What is this? This really looks obscene. It's <laughs> this is what's called a brine pump, Bill. Um, this product right here is called, it, it comes from a company called FDIC. FDIC is... Uh, really? Big, yeah, yeah. FDIC is big in the restaurant business. But you actually said that's a, a 
a famous name. It is a famous name in the uh, in, in the pump business. Um, basically, the way that it works, um, this hose right here has a filter nozzle in here. You drop this into your jug and your gallon jug or whatever you got going on. Um, as you draw back the uh, the pump, the the marinade or whatever your injection mix will come up through the through the top. When you shoot it in, there's a little bladder in here that covers this over, and it shoots the um, injection out this very nice. Uh, so this thing's you know, heavy. This thing. is heavy duty. Heavy duty. Very heavy. This is duty. for whole hogs. Yeah, we much. use this as a whole hog injection pump, and it will pump up to as much as we've used as much as five gallons into a whole hog. But then you can just keep on pumping and pumping and pumping, um, and with the uh, needles or the holes in the needle being spread out, you don't have to consistently pull out and push in and pull out and push in. You stick it into a spot, you pump it up, and you're ready to go. Great stuff right here. Um, unfortunately, or whatever way you want to look at it, it's a little bit expensive. So it's how much? Uh, that's 165 bucks or so. Uh, I got I picked it up at uh, I don't know. I googled it. I might have picked it up off of Amazon. I don't remember. Now I'll say I've done last the one one time I competed at Whole Hog. I didn't have one of these. I used. I had one of the Tony cashiers right. left over from the kit, and it worked. Sure, it works. But, but this is cool. But you won't get as much as you use the smaller injectors. And if you remember the uh, the small injector we had oh, last yeah. time called the Dial-O-Matic, um, you just won't get as much into the meat because you're constantly poking in, you're constantly poking in, constantly poking in. And as you're poking in, you're creating holes in the meat. So while you're shooting your injection in, it's coming out the holes that you've already pumped in. This one right here, you stick it in one time and you just keep on pumping. And you can watch it. Um, a lot of the whole hog cookers call it um, waving at you as you're injecting in. You can see the, uh, the, the the piece of meat, the shoulder or the ham actually rising and blowing up. And it's a beautiful thing. Did you put your finger on the hole afterwards? Yes. There you go. So, F. Dick, thank you much. <laughs> Our uh, website of the week is, uh, is, I just stumbled on this two nights ago, but I've heard about it. Have you heard of this bacon explosion? I have heard of the bacon explosion. Tell me about it. I guess, that. I don't know if the guys from barbecueaddicts.com created it or if they trademarked it or whatever, but they're actually selling their own pre-made barbecue explosions, which is this creation of, it's like a basket weave of bacon. Then they got sausage on top and then more crumbled bacon inside barbecue sauce and they roll it up in bacon and smoke it, I guess. Excellent. Sounds good. Bacon's always it's, great. Yeah, it's a heart attack and a loaf. <laughs> but uh, barbecueaddicts.com are the guys that, I guess, are the brains behind it. The they stomachs must... behind it. Go check that out. Do they have a bunch of recipes up there, too, Bill, for making different bacon explosions? They've, they've got the how-to on how to make the bacon explosion. Okay. But uh, they also make it easy. I think they're selling them. It looks like they may have been back-ordered or they're having some issues with shipping. But check out. It's just fun to look at. Hey. Barbecue explosion. Bacon, good. Secret ingredient today is... Uh, whiskey. We're going to talk about whiskey. Can you use... I'm sure you can. In barbecue... There's. I've never read any problems with using alcohol uh, in barbecue competitions, but can you use that for uh, marinades for... Yes, you or can. would you? Um, I have used whiskey as a marinade. Uh, it makes a better sauce, um, but actually what you're bringing to the game um, is a charcoal reflection because um, whiskey is generally... Um, aged in a charcoal cask, so you're bringing that to it, but you're bringing the sweet sugar that you want to get out of the bourbon. Um, and I like to use bourbon specifically. Um, when you go to the store or you go to wherever you're going, you always see whiskey glaze, bourbon glaze, Jack Daniels glaze. There's all kinds mm -hmm. of those different things. Of course, Jack Daniels is a sour mash, but uh, certainly you want to bring in the sweet and you use bourbon to bring in the sweet. Uh, when I make a sauce, I don't like to have the, uh, the alcohol reflection necessarily in there, so yeah. I'll use heat. And heat will, will, as you simmer the sauce, the uh, alcohol will boil off and be left with the flavor. You know what I like? I, I, I didn't really care for the the Jack Daniels sauce, but I liked using, they've got a wood chip. Yes, they an do. An oak barrel uh, wood chip that I thought was really good. Awesome stuff. Just smells good. Mm -hmm. it, at the very least, it smells great cooking with it. But whiskey, you can use it for... Whiskey, good stuff. All right, there you go. Uh, you got any questions for us? We'd love to get your comments, your questions, jokes, anything at uh, greattv.com. It's Jack at greattv.com, Bill at greattv.com, Bill at barbecuetricks.com, Jack at carolinapitmasters.com. And you can uh, just post something get on the, the Facebook website. Get to the Facebook page. Get to the Facebook page. Get to the website. Whatever you need to do, uh, let us know what you want to do. We're happy to go ahead and answer any of your questions. We like actually for with the iTunes and the Facebook Please post some comments. Let us know what's going on out there and rate us too, because that makes a difference Absolutely. as we as we start growing things. Uh, it would 
mean a lot to us. All right, GreatTV.com. Hug your uh, mama. It's a wrap. If it, you know, we need the, we need a good out cue for this. <laughs> Hug your mama is good. We can uh, add, uh, you know, something if you're gonna cook. Make sure you see it on the grate. See it on the grate. See it on the grate. Thanks.